Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I am doing a large project. I've actually been dying to do this one for a little while, but haven't had the time. These are five eight by 24 panels. So I did my best to get it fit into my camera and I'm going to be doing hopefully a gorgeous Dutch pour on this. I'm using all Mixed Media Girl paints. So I'm gonna start out with some white hair and I do have a definite concept in my head. We'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much do a half and half with white and then with purple. And I think that will be gorgeous. I am gonna be putting, of course, paint in the middle so I'm not worried about getting an exact line here. And I'll be doing it a little bit diagonally. All right, I've got a pretty nice base with white, white there. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with purple on this side. And this is my royal purple color. It's very nice, beautiful, deep purple. Definitely lean towards the cool colors, but this is a little bit of a warmer purple actually. All of these paints can be found on my website, mixedmediagirl.com. I'm going to go ahead and get this spread around. Now after this is dry as needed, I will just take a brush and go ahead and cover these ends with purple if I miss any of them, especially on the in-between here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and torch this real quick to get rid of air bubbles. Torching is not something you absolutely have to do, but if you have a lot of air bubbles, it can definitely help. I am pretty excited about the colors that I'll be using today. So I'm gonna start off with some gold. And I'm pretty much just gonna pour right in the middle here. And then I will be using other metallics as well. So let me go ahead and go in here with this Pacific Blue. And I have a Rose Gold, which on my website I call it Fairy Dreams. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of copper which is actually fairly similar to the rose gold, just a bit deeper, a little more orange. Okay. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on the colors for this, but I think I'm actually gonna also add in a little bit of navy blue. That'll give us a nice contrast, okay. Now, last thing I do before I go in here with my hair dryer is I'm going to get the sides with the respective colors. So over here, I'm going to add purple. And then on the other side, I'm going to add white just to make sure we have a really nice flow. All right, I'm ready to get in here with the hair dryer. I'm using a Remington hair dryer with this attachment. I'm going to use it on uh, cold air and high flow. You can find this in my Amazon store. I'll turn down the volume for this because it's loud, but here we go.
right, there you have it. I think this is gorgeous. Some of the colors we got in here with the blues and the golds, beautiful. And I did use that rose gold specifically because I know it has um, properties in it that cause these crazy cells. There's no silicone or oils or anything else in here, um, just my paints. So this can be resin over, no issue. I'm gonna let this sit here for a little while and then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. All right, so I'm gonna do a close up from both sides. This is from the white side. And if there are any parts in the white or purple that don't look level, don't worry too much about it. The Floetrol is self-leveling and they can always be touched up if needed later. So look at these crazy beautiful colors. We've got like mermaid colors in there or peacock colors. I guess they're kind of similar a little bit. Some beautiful cell reactions. So I am so excited that I finally got to do this piece. I've literally had these canvases for months, probably about six months. Um, so I'm really happy that I finally got to do this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you from the purple side. Okay, here's from the purple side. Let me know guys, if this were in your home, which way would you hang it? Purple side up or white side up? The purple definitely looks a little bit less even than the white, but like I said, don't worry. It will flatten out as it dries. Check out these crazy colors. I used three different metallics in here, right? The gold, the rose gold, and the copper. So we've got a lot of beautiful sparkliness. And I think it's just gorgeous. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed making it and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to hang it up, but it will also be in my store later on my website. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you all next time.